Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. We last left off uh, after meeting Papalimo and Ida, the uh, strangers in the woods, and we handed in a quest and begun a new one to obtain egg sacs from Chigos. So, without further ado, let's get on with the show. Now, those Chigo egg sacs look like they're going to be back this way somewhere. So... Let's just head out there, and uh, one thing while I'm traveling, I should point out that uh, over the next two or three episodes, if there's any uh, voiceover that sounds a little bit uh, unusual, it's probably because I'm using a better take from the earlier recordings that got corrupted as the audio survived completely intact. Anyway, let's get on with killing these Chigos. And uh, these flame icons you see here. It's the main story quest icon, it's just telling you that uh, these mobs are related to uh, main story quests that we're doing. Right. I think we'll uh, try and grab a few of these water sprites while we're at it. They're part of our hunting log. Should only need three of them, I believe. Uh, let's have a look how many is it. Yeah, only three. Right, and let's kill some of you guys. Alright, one more after this, I believe. Uh, nope, no notification, so yep, I think we, yep, definitely still need one more. Alright, just stick an arrow on him, and a few more rocks. Alright, now let's uh, head back to that guy, give him the uh, Chigo's egg sacks. Get a little bit of a sprint going on. Alright, it's uh, this guy here. I thought it was back at the original camp, but I guess not. Ah, you must be the adventurer standing for our injured companions. Terribly unfortunate business, that. Alright, there you go. It seems, however, that you had little trouble gathering the egg sacks in their stead. Excellent work. I shall have them sent over to the Trappers League immediately. Lest you wonder, these egg sacks are not destined for the dinner table. Members of the Twin Adder and the Wood Whalers are assisting the League by collecting the samples they need to check for signs of sickness. The Chigo, you see, is one of the few creatures capable of transmitting the disease known as the Creeping Death. Until relatively recently, any here who contract this ghastly illness would almost invariably perish. Indeed, a single outbreak once claimed the lives of a third of the urine population here in Gridania. That was a long time ago, of course. With the medicines available to us now, the Creeping Death is not the killer it once was. Even so, it is best to halt any new outbreaks before they occur. Thus we gather Chigo eggs on a regular basis in order to assist the Trappers League with their ongoing research. Your timely assistance is most appreciated. My Potion and Windshot. Such an embarrassing turn of events. I sent a recruit from the Bannock on a survey and expedition only for the Craven to turn tail and flee at the first sign of trouble. This is not how we treat requests from the Conjurers, and as if, and as if such a poor showing went bad enough, the lily-livered half would left behind the surveying equipment provided by Hero Pauline herself. While I attempt to instill some backbone into the so-called soldier, would you mind recovering the survey gear and returning it to Hero Pauline at Gabino's Bower? According to my recruit's tale of war, there should be a set of survey records, a surveyor's rope, and two boxes of surveyor's instruments strewn about the interior of a cave to the south of here. <sighs> it's a wonder the damn fool didn't lose his boots. Ahem. <clears throat> Mate, room watch over you. Okie dokie. Let's have a quick look at what this guy has for us. Uh, needs an adventure to spot. Didn't we just get a high potion? Uh, oops, wrong menu. Yes, we did. Alright, let's have a look. Oh gods, the pain. I caught a squirrel of squirrels known on the fences earlier. I managed to drive them off, but not before they decided to know on me instead. And now I'm the bloody mess you see before you. 
To make matters worse, I find myself without so much as a single high potion. I know, I know. Foolhardy. I vaguely recall using my last one after some trifling scrape several moons past. The gods alone know why I didn't think to replace it there and then. Wouldn't happen to be carrying a spare flask? Uh, I would indeed. If you don't have any on hand, the merchant at the bannock should have some in her stock. I can't leave my post, so if you could bring me a high potion, I'd be tremendously grateful. Right, well, uh, why couldn't you just ask this guy over here? He seems to have a plenty of uh, supply to give out to adventurers, but not you. <laughs> okay. Right. Seven Hells, did those accursed squirrels leave any part of me untouched? Ah, you're back. Do you have that high potion for me? I do indeed. There you go. Thank the gods. I owe you one, my friend. Yeah, I want you to have this. I had no idea squirrels could bite so hard. I thought I had seen everything, but it seems there are still surprises to be found in the Twelves Wood. We both would do well to remember that. Right, Eccles. Yeah, the one I've got's better, so I'll take the cash reward. Right, now where were we heading next? Uh, to the south, it looks like. Alright. Uh, I'll be glad once I've uh, got access to a mount. I believe that's at level 20, although it might be level 30. I can't remember for certain at this moment. And then I'll be uh, less running about. Less uh, time used up. <laughs> See if we can sneak past these bog yarsons without uh, tracking them. Oh, nearly got myself stuck. Oh, nope. There we go. We've uh, pulled anyways. Never mind. Right, let's see. Oh, another bug yards and oh he's already pulled. Yep. Well, we can see the severe records off in the distance there. And oh no, that's a water sprite. Yeah, he's probably going to pull as well, isn't he? Or is he? Nope, you're going to leave us alone? Uh, that's nice of you. Uh, right, that's one set of survey records. Definitely going to have to take care of this guy. And in a vagard. And of course we've got our air uh, surveys instruments just down at the left there. And I think I can see the last one in the distance unless that's a water sprite playing tricks on me. And the surveyor's rope. Yeah, it was the oh, instruments. But uh, the water sprite was kind of blended in with it. <laughs> right. Uh, get you out of the way. Right, let's get these uh, instruments and uh, head back to... Was it Pauline that we had to return these to? Alright, uh, yeah, to Pauline. So we'll just step back the way we came. I think that's the easiest way. Yeah. Oops. Not paying attention. Too busy looking at my map. <laughs> Oh, God. 
This might be a long trip uh, getting back out of here. <laughs> I think we're going to have to fight the whole way through. I don't think we're going to be able to squeeze past these guys. get this one out of our way as well. Right, on we go to uh, the location of Pony, which I believe this hut over here. Pauline, got some stuff you were expecting. Yes, may I assist you with some matter? Yep, here's the stuff. Oh, but this is the equipment I left with the soldiers of the Bannock. Fled, fled at the first sign of danger, you say? I see. Well, all is not lost. It appears the recruit managed to complete the surveying assignment. The records are actually quite detailed. With the changes wrought by the Calamity, I thought it wise to send the Order of the Twin Adder on a number of expeditions to map the region's topography. As fortune would have it, the officers saw these tasks as an excellent opportunity to train inexperienced soldiers. We can no longer rely on our past knowledge of the Twelveswood. If we are to survive these troubled times, we must reacquaint ourselves with our surroundings that we may better discern the threats we face. Stay vigilant, adventurer. Um, right. I think that's an upgrade. Uh, yep, definitely. So we'll take that. And get a quick look at our armory chest. Uh... Oh, we've got to equip that from last time. Let's put that on now. Uh, right, and we'll equip this. Now, I believe this is a hoodie. And you see it's put my uh, head back into my armour chest. Uh, it has a hood built into it, so uh, you can't actually use a head uh, item in the head slot when you're using a hoodie, as I like to call them. I'm never too sure exactly how you identify them from just regular chest pieces. But never mind, I'm sure uh, you guys will be able to figure that out and maybe inform me of something. Just check we've got all our recommended gear. Yep. Close that. And close our inventory. Alright, what else have you got for us? I hesitate to make such a dangerous request, but might you assist us in filling the number of annals on Naked Rock? In our efforts to commune with the elementals, we conjurers often find ourselves in the area. Of late, however, our meditations have all too frequently been un interrupted by unprovoked animal attacks. Truly, the beasts grow more aggressive by the day. Their numbers have continued to grow since the advent of the Seventh Umbral Era, you see, forcing packs of the Scalekin to come down from the mountains in search of food. If you could slay a handful of the beasts, that should lessen their need to hunt and also serve as a warning to the animals to remain within their territory. But I am afraid you must do more than thin the existing population. If we are to truly break the spiralling growth, then we must also target their future offspring. Bring me one of their eggs and you will have played your part in returning balance to this area of the forest. Right, let's have a look what you've got for me as well. Gods damn you mushroom-headed spindly-legged spore-spewing abominations! Suck the life out of my precious trees, will you? Damn you to the seven- Hmm. Oh, thank the matron. You look like just the sort to help me deal with this nightmare. My poor trees. Trees I have tended since they were scarcely saplings, I might add, have been infested with parasite fungoirs. If I let those pests have their way, my babies will be no but dead wood before the week is out. Smear a little of this amber unguent on an infested tree though, and the horrid creatures will drop clean off, allowing you to administer adventurer-style vengeance. 
<laughs> Did you hear that, you malignant toadstools? Your end is nigh. You'll rue the day. You... Um, my apologies. The wrath was upon me. Fear not, I am now quite calm. So the Fungwas, bastards that they are, have attached themselves to free trees. Once you've ground those treacherous mushrooms into a pulp beneath your righteous boots, come back and tell me exactly how it felt. Um, okay, dude. <laughs> Let's see. That's one over there, but I think there's one, yep, just around this corner. Right, so, uh, Amber Ungwent. And let's kill this, uh, giant Goomba. Ugly things that they are. Is this going to finish him off? Uh, yes. And the next one. Ungwent again. Right. Okie dokie, and the third and final tree just over here. Uh, nope, that's not my target. Where is he? Well, oh, there he is. He's hiding on top of the tree behind the little uh, cherry bush. Right, there we go. And let's go back and tell Gabino that uh, his trees are safe. Well, did you take care of my fungi infestation? Yes, at last I can enjoy a restful night's sleep. I must say I'm glad to be an adventurer of such talents. I just look at you in all your fungus spattered glory. You have my thanks. Uh, gloves. Are you an upgrade? Mm, no, you're basically the same with a slight bit of armor increase. Um, I'll take the cash reward, I think. Alright, so what else did you have for me? Ah, it's you, Elric. After the thrashing you gave those infernal funguas, I do believe you might be the very person to solve another problem of mine. micro -chews. These vile little beasts draw their sustenance directly from the soil. Ordinarily, the forest would be only too happy to provide, but these days there are just too bloody many of them. So many, in fact, that they're leeching every last nutrient from the ground. You think the soil was put here just for you and your microchew mates? Gah! I should go over there and... and... well, I'm not really sure what it is I should do, but someone should certainly do something, and soon, b before I... I... I apologise. The rage, you see. It takes over and there's naught I can do but fume and splutter. If you could see your way to exterminate an eight or so of those soily spoilers, you would have my eternal gratitude. Once you've taken care of the microchews, I'd be grateful if you would report to Eldrith. You'll find him just outside. I hear the degradation of the soil has been as much a source of consternation to him as it has to me, and I'm sure he'd appreciate knowing the problem's been solved. Okie dokie, microchews it is. And we also need to get an animal egg and kill three animals while we're up here. Let's just have a quick look where those animals were, in fact. Uh, soldier's breakfast, yeah, directly east, so it's on the way through. Uh, killing off a ton of micro -chews. how many did we have to get rid of? Eight in total, quite a few. Um, while I remember, um, if you guys could leave any feedback, uh, positive or negative, in the comments, what you're liking and what you're not liking about the videos, it would uh, be gratefully appreciated. And um, I'll see uh, if I can't implement any of those changes going forward in future videos. Alright, that was number four. Still a good few many to go. Couple back there, which I think we'll target next behind those trees. 
Or maybe we'll get those two up there. See how this works out. Uh, just the two over there. Probably a little bit safer anyways. Seeing uh, that I'll only have two potential uh, enemies attack me at once. Although these guys don't appear to be aggressive. I'm not entirely sure what these uh, mutated plants are meant to be, if they're uh, based on anything. Or whether it's just completely unique. Perhaps from uh, Dungeons & Dragons, their appearance. But I'm not very familiar with D&D, uh, &D, so yeah. <laughs> Right, we need uh, one more. Let's see, you will do. All right, now I believe the animal egg was up uh, this direction somewhere. Although uh, I had a bit of difficulty finding it the uh, the previous uh, time that I recorded this. So hopefully it's not going to be such a nuisance this time. I know that uh, it's quite a deadly area too where uh, if you're not careful you can easily get surrounded and overpowered up here. So we're going to try and be really careful not to let that happen. I think the egg is up by this rock somewhere. Get a heal after uh, killing this guy. Can't be soaking too many of those attacks. Nope, still not dead. That's the job. Alright, head back this way. And as I say, try to get up to there. Uh, can we get one of these on their own? Possibly. Alright, come here. No calling for your friends now. Now we'll finish you off. Oh, don't want to be standing that. Alright, this will be number three, but of course we still need to get hold of the egg. Yep, there's the egg just where I thought it was, but three versus one, this might be a bit tricky. Okay, one on one, I'll take those odds. Did that hit us? Uh, no, I think we managed to avoid... Oh, we've got somebody behind us now. As I said, this area can be fairly deadly. Oh, please tell me that's not another one behind us. Nope, it was just his. Alright, let's get a heal on myself. Alright. Oops. Not much longer to get him finished off now, I think. Right. And let's kill him as well. Nick the egg. And then once we head back to town, I think we'll be calling it an episode as we're closing in on the half an hour mark. Get a quick heal in. And finish him off. Right. Now, back to uh, Gabano and Eldrif. 
Um, while I recall, just a little tip for you guys. You see, uh, where was it? Death to the Death to the Bean Thieves. Uh, we said we were going to ignore that in an earlier episode. So uh, what we're going to do is just here in the journal, click that once, click the second time, and it takes it out of the uh, tracked quests so that you've got one less distraction to think about. You see, you've slain a good number of those microtubes. Well, that's a welcome piece of news. I was afraid old Gabino would take an axe in hand and try to hack apart the pests himself. Perhaps now his troubled mind might know some peace. You'll have my thanks. Alright, belt. Yep, we haven't got one, so we'll definitely take the belt. Um, let's actually equip that while we're at it. There it is. Alright, Pauline. Ah, you have returned. Now might my brothers and sisters continue their meditations undisturbed. You have my thanks. As for the egg, may I ask you to deliver it to Soup Kamazom at the Bannock. Animal eggs are both large and filled with nutrients, the perfect meal for a soldier. She will be more than a little pleased to see you, I should imagine. Okie dokie, that's fine by me. Um, let's have a look. Four minutes left, we'll try and get a little bit more uh, footage in here. Yeah, we need to be back at the Bannock, can we? No, we can't teleport directly there. We'll get a sprint going on. Right, just the back. Okay, a little bit glitchy there. <laughs> Getting stuck on the uh, model. Alright, Sub Kamazom, we have an egg for you. Who goes there? Oh, Elric, it's you. Hmm, another delivery. Yep. There's one egg. I'm not certain I should be the one to... By no figure, that's an animal egg. The troops will be glad to see one of these at the table. And you say here, Pauline sent you on this errand? I hear the animals are more numerous than ever, yet you appear to have managed the task with your skin intact. Your skill and bravery continue to amaze me, Elric. Um, and another new weapon. Um, is that an upgrade mine one? A little bit of uh, damage, might as well take it. I mean, uh, yeah, I'll take it. Right, and recommended gear. We'll equip that. And... We'll uh, call that an episode, so we'll see you guys next time.